What's up guys, my name is Ezra and this is Mac Tips TV. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool application what I would recommend any person with a magic mouse needs to download. And with this application you can actually use all of those features, what the iPhone incorporates to the touch screen, um, the different gestures and such as uh, pinch and zoom. Uh, so you can enable that with this application and um, it's really cool because mice like the MX Revolution they did have an advantage over the Magic Mouse because of the programmable buttons on the side but now you can actually do this on your Magic Mouse so the application is a free um, download, link will be in the sidebar it's uh, 11 o'clock get this from uh, Apple and once again the link will be in the sidebar if you don't want to go there you can go to apple.com slash downloads and go to all downloads and system slash disk utilities and look for Magic Press the application sits in your system bar uh, you just click on it to open it so once we open it, we have preferences, load a preset, you can actually set them so if you're on a web browser and you need um, swipe to go back, for instance, you can save a preset with some brow um, some gestures what you would use web browsing. If you're on um, Photoshop, you can use pinch to zoom to zoom into the canvas, so you can save them there. You can disable magic press, um, disable the menu bar icon, disable auto start, disable one finger scroll, check for an update, um, about see who the developer was and everything and quick magic press so we're going to click on press. we have tracking speed at the top so you can change the tracking speed I, I wouldn't recommend going any higher than the fourth one really because it gets really fast if I put it up to max it's too hard to use really so I recommend putting it on two you can change the sensitivity if it's relaxed then you're going to maybe need to do those gestures a few times to actually get it to recognize what you're doing if it's higher then it's going to be um, once um, and it may be too high so when you're trying to do something that it does something else. So you can the first option you can change um, clicks. So we have one finger middle axis click. So I can change this to middle click, right click, uh, left click, whatever I want really. I can change it to expose a um, spaces dashboard. And one cool thing as well is that it actually shows you here where your fingers need to be positioned for it to work. Uh, and if I click turn re uh, real time graphic display on, it will show where my fingers are. So you can see there's two now because two of my fingers are on click it again, um, three of my fingers are on, it doesn't do four, it can only do three fingers at a time. So that's pretty awesome, so you can see if you're actually positioning your fingers in um, the right place. And if I push um, down harder and more lighter, it will get a bit um, darker if I'm pushing harder. So you can change the taps as well, so that's just a right click tap instead of clicking. Let's go to swipes, we can also change them, you can see here this is where um, your fingers need to go to switch spaces for instance. Um, three fingers. Some of them do get a bit hard, uh, the stars indicate something was potentially hard to use because obviously that's going to be quite hard to get used to. Um, then if we go to drag and pinch, this is the really cool things, um, for instance like the pinch and zoom, uh, what the iPhone uses and trackpads use. So you, you can incorporate all those features what maybe you thought you were getting with a touch sensitive mouse but you didn't. You can also change the icon on or off, save the preset, um, name it, so you can name it browser or whatever you want, you can load it, save it or delete it. So it's a really awesome application, I would highly recommend it, it looks great, uh, it's really good to use and it's one of the most useful applications that you can get and it's free best of all. So uh, my name is Ezra and I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a comment and uh, rate and don't forget to subscribe because we would really love if you subscribe. So thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe once again, peace.